I'm Vinnie Maas. I'm the M of MVRDV. Uh, uh, my firm we started, I think, 20 years ago. No, 18 years ago uh, for architecture and urbanism in Rotterdam and um, also in Shanghai and in Paris. The Benazing Barn is a building that wants to love Suffolk and that wants to criticize a little bit being on vacation or being on holiday. The house wants to be modest initially. It, um, it, it wants to respect the, 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 the landscape. The, the, it's simply a barn in that way. When you put a barn on top of the, of the hill, mm, it's there, nice, but, mm. but at the moment that you say, push the barn a little bit like this, or even more, or even more, or till the moment that, that it does this, then the barn gets a kind of emotional feeling. Anyway, it, it starts to be not completely comfortable. It has hopefully a stable part here and a less stable part on the other side. So it, it is comfortable when you come from London initially and then you go further in the house and mm, there is no soil below. Everywhere there, there is a view. So I think this compensates that, that feeling. It's not boring in a way. I mean, holiday homes should not be boring. Immediately in the kitchen. I love that in houses that you don't go through a hallway or something. No, buying food there and drinks. There are already friends, maybe, having a wine and you, you enter. Okay, let's pass by. You come immediately in an intimate zone afterwards. Bedrooms. And every room is different, but that you don't know. And go further, further, further. And then, poof, you come into the reading, living space. And then you see that what you've seen outside, the fact that it's floating, is actually happening. The carpet is made out of glass. So well, you look down, and what do you see? A swing, the landscape, the frogs. So the ultimate three-dimensional experience of Suffolk can be found there. And that's the sequence of the house.